What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome back to this week's In Depth. For those of you guys starting college again today, I feel for you, I started mine as well, so I'm going to take the edge off by giving you a great episode of In Depth. Today we're going to be covering the Honey Badger Assault Rifle. Now for those of you guys on Carnage Clan, be sure to come check my channel out down in the description below. For those of you guys on my channel, be sure to go check out Carnage down in the description below as well. But now, let's jump right into the actual In Depth. So the Honey Badger is one of those versatile weapons that can be used in almost every single type of engagement. It's great for those types of situations, especially those with close quarters to medium range. That's where this weapon thrives. It offers an integrated silencer, which gives more combos for attachments as well as makes it invisible to radar. So let's talk stats, and the very first thing up on the table is the damage. The thing that everybody cares about is a 42 to 20 depending on the range, and that means it is a 3 to 5 shot kill depending on your range as well. The damage multipliers for this weapon is to the head. It is a 1.4 times damage, which usually means one less shot, and it is standard for all assault rifles. The rest of the body is a 1.0 so it's a normal shot and hit registry and with a semi-auto or burst neck chest and torso increases all the way up to 1.5 times now one of the weaknesses of this weapon but it may also be classified as a strength is the range of this weapon the three shot kill range is a 24 meters which is the lowest of all ARs a lot of SMGs with the muzzle break has a similar range at that point and has the same amount of damage so it is very low comparable to the rest of the ARs. It is the lowest, and in some situations, you'd be better off with an SMG. This weapon specializes in close quarters to medium range combat, and long range can be done, but it will fluctuate and there is no guarantee in kills. Now, what it lacks in one area, it makes up for in another. Because of the built-in silencer, it has the third best silence range. The Remington R5 and the AK-12 are the only weapons with a better silence range, but this in itself offers a lot of opportunities for silence kills. Now, last week with the Remington R5 and the magazine size of that gun, I told you that it was something for an accurate shot. This week, I'm going to tell you it's a little different. It still is great to have an accurate shot, but it is standard in the magazine size. It is 30 rounds and 45 with extended mags. It's standard for the assault rifles. All other assault rifles are the same except for the FAD, which is a 42-63, and a Remington R5, which is 24 and 36. Like I said, I would still recommend trying to have an accurate shot because of the recoil properties of this gun, which we'll get to in a little bit. It it is a little weird on how it shoots, so it's nice to conserve some ammo and not have to burn through it. Now, the rate of fire of this weapon is 800 RPM and is the third highest fire rate of all the ARs, one and two being FAD and the ARX. Now, one of the beautiful things about this weapon, though, is the combination of the damage range and fire rate. Add that all together and it gives you the best time to kill of any of the ARs in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, talking about speeds, let's transition over to talking about two things, the center speed and the reload times of this weapon. The center speed is about 10 to 15% better than all the other assault rifles in Call of Duty Ghosts. And for those of you that do not know what the center speed is, it is the time it takes for the gun to take to get back to the resting position after firing a shot. This is a factor of how the recoil works and how long it takes for the gun to get stable again. Granted, full auto weapons don't get to show off their center speed too often, but whenever you put a burst fire or select fire attachment onto this, it makes the gun extremely powerful in those terms. In fact, it makes the Honey Badger the best choice for the burst fire or select fire modifications. Now, your reload time of this weapon, the empty is a 3.5 one six seconds a full is a 2.63 seconds and a cancel is a 1.53 seconds again just like the remington r5 this is something that you don't have to sit in a corner and reload with like the chainsaw was this is something that you can do run and gun and get your shots off while almost seemingly reloading as quickly as you need to now of course sleight of hand will make that weapon reload time slower it is still one of the weapons that i prefer to run and gun with now the ads time is 0 0.3 seconds which is a standard for assault rifles as well as quick troll make this time a little quicker now here's the only kicker that I have with this weapon. The recoil is labeled as low, but it feels a lot different than that. Whenever you play, it feels like a medium to high range of recoil. But the reasoning behind that is the chance per shot goes in every direction, not just up, but also right down and left. So the recoil properties of this gun are in fact pretty unique and it's something that is very controllable at short ranges but at long ranges it gets to be one of those things that is very pesky. You start to miss shots, your accuracy goes down and it's harder to kill. So that is your stats for this weapon. Let's close out with the things to run and then my preference on the weapon. The things to run, I would run scavenger fully loaded if you're less accurate so you don't waste your ammo. Like I said the recoil properties of this weapon are quite different and it makes the weapon more suited to close quarters and medium range 
range, but if you're taking long range engagement shots, you're going to be wasting a lot more ammo than you need to. I would also run an optic of some sort. The iron sights of this weapon are bearable, but like the rest of the weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm not too fond of the iron sights. By no means am I saying that you have to run one, I'm just saying it would probably be in your favor. Something like a red dot or a VMR are great candidates. As well, with the silencer built in, it allows you to have more attachments for your guns. That being said, I would also run a grip. With the recoil properties of this weapon being so strange, it can never hurt to have the extra help for studying the aim. Now on the topic of steady aim, I would run steady aim or focus depending on which scenario you prefer. Both can help you in many situations. So the preference of this weapon, I would definitely recommend this. This is one of the guns that wasn't my favorite before testing. I would always get killed by it and kind of think, you know what, I hate this weapon. But whenever I gave it a chance, it actually became one of my favorites. It's one of the most versatile weapons in the game in my opinion. I say that a lot about weapons, but this one is truly the case because you can run in sort of SMG style and outgun a lot of people with SMG. SMGs, but you also have the range of an assault rifle, so that's another beautiful thing. Factors like that make this weapon very handy, as well as I got my first KEM with this weapon, as the gameplay will show in the background. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Benicol Espresso. For those of you on Carnage, I challenge you guys to get this up to 300 likes. We smashed that last time, so let's do it again. Let's make it three consecutive weeks. If you are watching on Carnage, be sure to check out my channel. The link will be down in the description below. As for the people on my channel, go check out Carnage. Amazing clan with some of the great gameplays you will ever see. So check them out in the description below as well. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares to Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Ghost content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.